vrouw van Robert Foxworth wordt gespeeld door de actrice Susan Sullivan. Susan is in werkelijkheid niet getrouwd en woont alleen in een sfeervol appartement in Hollywood. En ik sprak met haar op het dakterras van haar woning. Het werd meer dan zomaar een interview. Het werd een ontmoeting met een charmante vrouw waar ik met plezier aan terugdenk. Emma? Ja, ze is veel beter. At least that's some good news. Why, what's the matter? Well, three more of our vineyard workers quit last night. You think Angela has something to do with it? Mm -hmm. How's the store cutting, Mom? Oh, okay. A lot of footwork, though. I'm trying to get some more interviews today. Maybe you can find out why our men are quitting. Darling, my assignment's on lifestyle of the vineyard workers, not labor relations. Mm. Sounds like another piece of fluff on the wine country. It is not a piece of fluff, and I'm going to write whatever I find. Well, it seems to me it'd be easy enough for you to find out why guys there, are walking Jason, off the job. I, the job is really simple enough to me. Wait, uh, before you start dividing the community property, could I have the keys to the car? Where are you going? I'm having a picnic with Mario. Oh. You and Mario have been spending a lot of time together? It's Sunday, Dad, and I thought I'd visit Emma later. Good. There's more to life than homework, you know. I'm sorry. I don't mean to put you on the spot, but... Uh... Okay. I like it when you yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can find out, all right? Okay. Welcome in TV Privé in our program. I have a surprise for you. It's uh, from Holland. Oh! I hope you like it. It's oh, real Dutch. Oh, how nice! It's, uh, Thank hand, you. Hand I love painted. it. It's uh, Delft Blue. Yes, of course. Well, uh, uh, originally. I, I, I <laughs> wish I had something to give you. <laughs> Thanks. It no, will we are go with my are... kitchen, too. Okay. Now we're happy you are in the show. Because you're very popular in Holland, you know. I am? Yeah. How did you create uh, Maggie? Maggie Giberti? Yes. Um, that's an interesting question. What do you mean, how did I create her? They sort of I created heard it. her, I heard it from know. people, that you created her. Ah, oh, how nice. Well, you know, on these kind of soap opera type of, uh, of shows, they give you a character and then they cast it, and I think they cast it so that the actor sort of fills it in like, like a paint by number. You bring your own mm -hmm. personality and your own idiosyncrasies to the character and hopefully that makes it mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. Because I heard that uh, at the start it was only a housewife, you know? Oh, oh, that story. Uh, well, originally they had offered me this part and I had not wanted to do it. Not because I didn't want to be a wife and a mother, but because I didn't want to have two such old kids. <laughs> um, and I turned it down and then it came back again and uh, I said listen I would like to do this if we could have this lady have something that's just hers not just be yeah. a wife and a mother not that that's not a full-time profession but something that makes her feel satisfied yeah like and, yourself uh, hmm? yeah yes like myself uh, and that's where we came up with the writing yeah. which has turned out to be very helpful it gives the character some dimension and I don't mean that she has to have a major career as a writer mm -hmm. but just something that is mm -hmm. hers. Yeah, I think yeah. every woman needs that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how they feel in yeah. um, in Amsterdam, but that's how we feel. Yeah. Are you an independent uh, woman? Yes. Well, what do you mean by independent woman? Uh, I'm uh, the interviewer. Oh, you oh you're the interviewer. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting that. <laughs> well, I, th I suppose yeah. it's a matter of definition. I mm -hmm. take care of myself, and I'm very mm -hmm. uh, self-sufficient. But I think we all need uh, need yeah. love and need a sense mm -hmm. of family. Mm -hmm. Do you need goals in life? Oh, sure. Yeah. Everybody needs goals in life. Mm -hmm. Something, you know. You see, I, this is the way. Do you want to know my philosophy of life? Yes. Real quick and yes. short? My philosophy is lo of life is that we're all like uh, roses or onions, depending upon how you're feeling that particular day. And it's all a process of unfolding and mm -hmm. growing. And uh, in that sense, l the goal of life is just to become um, more open and more aware. Yeah. Well, you said that beautifully. Did I? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love. Yes. <laughs> you, are, you, you, are, you are beautiful. And you are single. Why, why is such a beautiful and talented girl not married? Maybe that's why. <laughs> what do you mean with that? Well, I mean, every men, excuse me, it's but they always uh, say, gee, you're so attractive, why aren't you married? Uh, but perhaps that's one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, because, not that I'm so attractive that I'm not married, I'm getting, getting this all botched up. But uh, I think that in this day and age, you have really different choices. Uh, and I think uh, 15 years ago, not to have been married at my age, one would have been really a spinster and over the hill and it would have been all terrible. And now mm -hmm. it, you can make different choices in life. How is life for a single girl in Hollywood? Is it dangerous? Depends <laughs> on the day that you're asking. Today it's fine. Today it's fine. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what happens, I think, when you're single and you don't have a family, and that's something mm -hmm. that I miss. I have my own family, you know, my mothers mm -hmm. and sisters and things. Mm -hmm. uh, 
what you miss is um, children and that kind mm -hmm. of community. And what happens is that you have your friends become your family and they become very important to you mm -hmm. and very nurturing and you take care of them and they take care of you. Not that I don't plan to get married because I do. Yes? Yes. I don't have anybody in mind, but I'm looking. Yeah. Do you like to have children? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's not um, a major, uh, a, as you say, goal in my life. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I don't think in terms of specific things. I mm -hmm. want to do a movie. I want to get married. I want to mm -hmm. have children. Mm -hmm. I just think you follow your heart, yeah. and that will tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I'm not following the wrong thing. Maybe I should be following my head. <laughs> yeah. And is it more difficult for a woman still in Hollywood? Ah, uh, yes. To survive? Yes, sure it uh, is. Sure it is. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to take decisions sometimes. Eh? You, be, you must be uh, very hard. Do you know what it is? I think after a while, it's like anything that you do. You get to be more facile at it. You make choices, and, and it's not so... I mean, it's like... Um, <laughs> vanilla ice cream and chocolate ice cream. So you, 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 you want both of them, you take one, and that's the mm. one you have, and then you mm. forget about the other one. You make a choice and you go on. So I didn't get married at, at 25, and mm. here I am. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Do you drink a lot of wine? Oh, no. Do you know what? Shall we toast on uh, yes, your success? Yes, let's toast. Huh? Thank you, okay. how nice. Cheers. Or your future. Hmm? My future. Yeah. Do you drink a lot of wine? Or, uh... I'm allergic to wine. <laughs> oh, really? I'm allergic to wine and I'm oh. allergic to makeup. Oh my now, goodness. Now I'm sure I'm on the oh. right show in the right business. My goodness. Really? Is that so? You never drink wine? Well, I, oh, so little, but, I uh, do, but it isn't, mm -hmm. doesn't agree with me yeah. as well as milk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you have still time for a private life? Or it's difficult. Is this a proposal? Are you going? Oh, you're going back. Oh. Why am I talking to you? Uh, yes, <laughs> I do have yes. time for a private life. Yes, sure, yes, I do. Uh, yeah. Because uh, you come home in the evening, get to learn your lines. And well, on this show, because there's so many characters on the show, one mm. doesn't work every day. Mm -hmm. So you have you have a chance to have uh, to mm -hmm. have a life. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is there a good uh, friendship between you and uh, Bob Foxworth? Yes. He's very. Uh, yes. He's your kind of man. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> <laughs> this will not be shown here, right? No, <laughs> no, no. Yes, he is, actually. We get along We get along very well. I keep saying to him, you know what? We're just like husband and wife. And he looks at me and he says, no, we're not. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> Did you have disappointments in your life? Well, yeah, sure. That's, you know, that's the way, that's the way life is, Hank. Mm -hmm. I hate to have to be the one to tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there have been disappointments. The show that I did before this, which I'm sure didn't show in your country, uh, I was... Um, that didn't work out, and, mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact, because that didn't work out, this is the way life is, though. Mm -hmm. Because that didn't work out, I ended up doing this show, which is uh, as a big hit, and that show is now off the air. So you never know. Sometimes when things seem to be so catastrophic and so terrible, they end up actually being um, mm -hmm. blessings in disguise. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you Probably. wish for yourself for the future? The what theater do I wish for or film? Sorry. What do you you know what, what I think mm. everybody wants is to, is to have a career where you do a little bit of everything. I want to have a, a family and be madly in love and I want to do mm. television and make lots of money and lots of friends all over the world and do theater and do great parts, so. Mm -hmm. Do you like money? Yes, I, I, have, uh, I have a very fond relationship mm -hmm. with money. <laughs> <laughs> I've become very attached to it. It's a terrible right. thing about money, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you noticed that? Yes, I know. It's yeah. very hard once you have it to think about not having it anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't bring you happiness. Mm -hmm. You may quote me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe uh, many girls in this business are, l are lonely in Hollywood. Eh? Isn't, isn't that true? Well, listen, you can be lonely anywhere. Yes, mm -hmm. I think this business can be very lonely, mm -hmm. and being an actress can be very lonely, because you can get, particularly when you're working, you can get on this awful treadmill and come home and open a can of tuna mm -hmm. fish and what does life mean? Uh, so you have to sort of, um, mm -hmm. you have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to call people up and ask them over to share your cat of tuna fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you laugh a lot? Uh, as much congrats? as possible. Because <laughs> 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 I, I think you need it. I mean, you're every day together with the same people. Hmm? Mm -hmm. It's a very, very lovely group of people, though. And believe me, when it's not, yeah, yeah, it's lucky, yeah, because, miserable. Uh, you've had that before or not? Uh, an unhappy group of people? <laughs> yes. yes, I have. Oh, that's yes, awful, eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you would know it's the same thing, you know, working yeah. with a crew doing yes. this kind of a show. Now you are a happy uh, family. I'm a happy family. Yes? Yes. On Falcon Crest. On Falcon Crest. Okay. I thank you very much for this thank uh, you. interview and I hope to see you uh, in Holland again. I hope so. We invite you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll, 